Greetings, this is Earthman from EarthmanSoil.com. God bless you this day, and I'm very happy that you're here. Um, and uh, we'll learn together about the things that are in God's creation that are awesome for our plants. We're going to talk about humic and fulvic acid. Uh, humic and, uh, and fulvic acid are almost the same, uh, except for fulvic acid is a smaller molecule. It's, uh, think of it as a, the little brother of humic acid, uh, but they both almost form the same function, except uh, there are a few different things that they do different. But let's talk about the benefits of humic acid. And uh, the, you know, we're going to keep this video as short as possible. The most prominent and well-known benefit of humic and fulvic acids are the increase of nutrient uptake in the plant. This is why they make an excellent soil amendment. And that's why they pair so wonderfully with fertilizer. And I mean organic fertilizer, guys, that like uh, green sand and uh, uh, rock dust and rock phosphate and, you know, uh, alfalfa meal and uh, sea kelp. Uh, and fish meal, whatever, and uh, those type of nutrients. And without humic acid present, some of those nutrients um, that are in your soil are going to be un, uh, unattainable, inaccessible to your plants. So, uh, you know, your money's lost, uh, the plant health suffers, you're bummed out about that, all this yellow and weird stuff starts happening to your plant. And it just sucks, guys. I remember, I just, I hate it. You know, it's like, what am I doing wrong? And little I know that little things like humic acid, fulvic acid, amino acid, biostimulants were one of the main keys of a plant functioning. That's, that's what we want. Now, humic acids uh, make nutrients more available in the soil that they're not going to be otherwise available. And how exactly this happens? Well, it starts that, you know, it's, a, it's an organic compound, all right? It's... Uh, and it's oxidized, and therefore it gives off a negative charge, okay? And so, you know, we have positive, uh, you know, charged ions, uh, which are called cations, are attracted to these big molecules, these big humic molecules. You know, matter of fact, um, uh, that's called chelating, and chelating it means lobster claw. And so, um, uh, the, you know, uh, the charge, the negative charge draws the positive charges in. And so that frees these uh, nutrients up, nutrients like magnesium and calcium and iron and a whole bunch of different type of trace minerals are now freed up. And so they get drawn into the humic acid and the fulvic acid, loosened up from the soil, freed up, ready to be uh, sucked up by the plant. Now what the next step is, how God designed it, that the root systems are also negatively charged, but they're very strong charge coming from them and they will uh, draw the nutrients from the humic acid uh, claws um, and they will suck them into the root system and, and, and so these uh, you know you might have uh, ready uh, nutrients that are ready in there and the molecules are ready to get sucked into the root system but they get bound up into the soil because of their charge their positive charge and so uh, that negative charge from the humic acid draws them in uh, holds on to them and then uh, the positive charge from the roots draw the nutrients toward the root system and the root system is now able to uptake those nutrients and so uh, nutrients do get locked up and so if you have a, uh, some sort of deficiency in your plant more likely it's because there's a lack of humic acid in there maybe and uh, another key you know uh, amino acids uh, without that you're you're not going to have very uh, hardly any calcium uptake with amino acids you do but back to humic and fulvic acid so i hope you guys are learning something guys um, and why, you know, it, uh, these biostimulants are important. They are. Um, and, uh, and, and, and that's something that uh, we offer at Earth Man So that I offer you. And, um, you know, and, and, and I'm not trying to steer you wrong. I am not. Uh, matter of fact, I, I, I'm letting this plant grow dry. I haven't watered it in a while. And um, just to show you that, you know, even during drought stress, humic acid and other type of biostimulants will be able to maintain that plant and keep it going, even though it's in a drought situation or, or a freezing situation, you know, with frost or, or a, a heat stress. 
and uh, you know there's yucca extract in there that uh, eliminates the salts. It gets rid of the salts and uh, the and then the nutrients don't get washed away because they're being chelated by the humic acid and uh, and, and the amino acids also play a part in the calcium uptake and all that. And it's just you guys, are you listening to me? Hello, <laughs> I, I this is it. This is the real deal. You can have the best plants in the world uh, that are high in nutrition, high bricks level, that will fight as antioxidants in your body. These are the possibilities that we have to cure the different diseases that are in our bodies through food as God intended it to. And it ain't going to happen through hydroponics. It ain't going to happen through Fox Farm liquids or any other type of organic liquids. It's going to happen the way God made it, and that's minerals in the soil that are uptake through the plant's root system, through the uh, the ability of, of microbe life, and uh, uh, and through um, the different biostimulants that you add to your soil that are natural and they're God made and it's real, people. So, check out my website. Check out our new bloom stimulant. Um, it's it, if you got uh, things going into flower and fruiting and veggie, whatever, get this stuff. It's only 16 bucks, guys, and you get you know you get to inoculate 16 gallons of water, and that's a lot uh, for just a, you know for your plants. And so it's a small investment, but that's it. I'm ending this long video. God bless you guys. Humic acid, it rocks.